replicating all the movements of this one, which means he dies a lot, because that tower's different, you see. Do you see? You do. Right, so pull that down, and all these turn again, and they still don't make it look like they mesh together. Around they rotate, and that just closes that one that dickhead opened. So this entire thing was basically because Ortega's a dickhead and liked to leave, leave a draft coming in. Damn him. Damn him. Damn you, Goron. Not a Goron. Shut up. Right, so we'll save up here, and then we will drop down and drop down some more. Yes, we will. We're going to ignore the skeletons this time, and we are going to walk into that wall. It's a fascinating wall. You all needed to see it. Okay, so we'll drop down here and save, and then we will... Way! Oh, you got to love it. Yeah, that's because I died. Alright, so we're going through the moon door now. Again, perfect timing. You have to get it right. If you don't get it right, then you get it wrong. And if you don't score more points than the other team, you can't win! Right, so, uh, furthermore, we will climb this tower now. And there are actually several configurations for this tower. Um, much like the other one, uh, whether there are cert where there are blocks in certain places and the order in which they turn. Some of the turn orders are much harder than others, and also, it's only occasionally that there's a turning block there. It's usually if you decide you want to get whatever in is in the torch, though. Because I decided I didn't, it wasn't there. Okay, now we've got the four blocks here with the uh, roast chicken, uh, sorry, roast beef off on the platform there that I'm going to forget to look at again. This is one of the nicer orders it has, um, rather than, say, spinning when you step on them or something stupid like that. And right up here, no Medusa head and no um, Tower of Bones. Very generous. And this uncharacteristic generosity will continue. Two trigger platforms instead of these turning over continuously, which they can do. And then right up at the top, we will have... They removed that horrible little jumping section as well. They've uh, just replaced it with a single block platform. Awesome. It's almost like they want us to succeed. What madness is this? What insanity. And we'll go through here, and we will see that they've actually even fixed a couple of the glitches up here while they were at it. And... I don't know if this was here or not, but I certainly didn't notice it. You've got the roast chicken there, you've also got another one of these things. So we whack that and we turn out that the stone was loaded. It was going to pay for the building of the rest of the tower, but then it forgot. And nobody knew that it had the money, so they were none the wiser. As if anyone in this game would be wiser than anything outside it. Or even those things inside it. Right, we'll pull that lever down, and... More cog turnity action! Check out that close-up! Look at those cogs turn! Isn't it arousing? Ooh! Okay, so that opens both the portcullises, and we're out of here! Marvelous! And more continued cog eternity. Villainy is afoot. They're powering revolutions in foreign lands. We've got to put a stop to them. Okay, so here you'll notice that Castle Doctor is in fact now immobile completely. It's not trying to run away, it's braver back in the past, and that silly moon thing that has changed size again. It seems to change size more or less constantly throughout this game, it's massive on title screens in this series, but not here, strangely enough. Yeah, there's another good view of that thing, it's it basically it's just a skeleton torso, much like the one swimming around next to it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to briefly scum Megaty around here to get myself at least one power up. So there we go, we've got ourselves a cross all of a sudden, and this guy has a power up. So we're going to take the cross and the power up. And then I remember, being clever, that there is a cross here too. So we're going to take on those Cerberus dogs with a mighty level 2 cross. And we're going to do the next level with a level 3 cross, which is even more unbalanced and ridiculous. You will see that in good time. You will, you will, you will. Yep. Also, I've recorded an entire other LP, you'll be glad to hear, um, off a rental copy of Turning Point Fall of Liberty. It's all done. And it's all fucking stupid, as you will see in about five months' time, I guess. Anyway, we're going to leap it out this tower, and we're going to walk out here, and Cornell is going to look around, and he is going to think in his head... God damn it. Curse you, Ortega. He is going to think... Good God, I've got a pointy nose, and... My God, those harpy statues have boobs. Three boobs? What wrongitude? So, while Cornell reels in sexual confusion, he will be attacked by Cerberus dogs. I guess they're into the whole three boob thing. Dirty creatures, die, all of you. Right, they're out of it already. 
Now, it takes a little bit more effort to get the last one out because he is a little bit shy. He's shy of the press and the cameras, and um, here he is. Right, I mean, that one dropped holy water, and it's going to have another holy water turn up rather at random in a minute. So, that's good too. Now, the cross can home in most of the time. It just doesn't bother occasionally just to waste your sub weapon ammo a bit. Now, along come the two fire services. They actually increased the size of the pause here, I'm fairly sure they have, because it um, didn't used to seem to be that long. As you now you can hit both of them, which is great. Excellent suppression weapon. And it can even hit them when you've been knocked over. It's a bit like, well, being Carrie, really. Except that hers has infinite ammo, and is otherwise useful. And we carefully pick out a power-up from behind that useless holy water. I'll probably record a separate video to show you what the uh, level 3s and 9 holy water do, because I'm probably never going to use them. Uh, instead, we will carry on wackatying things with good power-ups. Take this, eat my good power-up. And once again, you're not going to see any of these things spit fire. I guess you might in one of Static Fiend's videos. If he's unlucky. Or if he's rubbish. But he won't be because of my expert tutelage. You leave your tutelage out of this, you be quiet. I've seen you around before. You're trying to ruin my reputation and I won't have it. I won't allow it. Get out of here before I burn you, Peterston. Okay, anyway, we've got... Uh, oh, shit. It's the 90s! It's a lens flare! That's actually a vital puzzle clue. It's a damn shame that you won't know it's a vital puzzle clue unless you've actually played Castlevania 64 already and know that that lens flare isn't there. But any shit, we've got to get out of here. So let's save our game here, and the video will end. I've been Evil Tim. Goodbye.